All 32 with your boy Big Pat Sports Talk. Welcome to the All 32 NFL Podcast with Big Pat Sports Talk. What's going on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all platforms, and welcome to another episode of the NFL All 32 with your boy Big Pat Sports Talk. Yes, I am a Giants fan, but I am an NFL football fan at heart, and I love to talk about all teams. So today, you see the New York Giants uh, in the background. Yeah, we're one and five. Whatever. Look, we're going to be talking about the San Diego Chargers. Well, Los Angeles Chargers. And we're going to be talking about Mr. Justin Herbert. Now, if you are in tune with my fan base, the New York Giants fan base, they always talk about Justin Herbert. He's so elite. He's this. He's that. He's the cream of the crop. He he has the stats. He's what you want your quarterback to be. He's elite. He's the top of the top notch. He's right below Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes. Then there's Justin Herbert. And then when I tell these guys that Justin Herbert is not that dude that you think that he is, they talk, they talk, they tell me that I'm crazy. I tell them that those stats really don't matter. That Justin Herbert, yes, he's an incredible talent, but he's not that quarterback like that, man. He doesn't deserve to be in the upper echelon of quarterbacks. And this is going on to, to, to you Chargers fans. You let me know when you watch your quarterback week after week. When it comes to clutch situations, he doesn't perform. 16 interceptions in the fourth quarter. And out of those 16 interceptions, 14 of those games were losses for you guys. And it, proved, it reared his ugly head in the Cowboys game. Let's talk about the Cowboys game. So you're going to tell me that Mr. Elite of Elite could only put up 17 points against the Cowboys defense because what I've been told is elite quarterbacks, they elevate everybody. They elevate the running back, the receivers, they elevate the offensive line, they elevate the team, they elevate the tight end, they elevate everybody, elevate the play caller. It's an elite quarterback. You have to have an elite quarterback to win in this game, but Dak Prescott wound up beating one of the guys you say that's elite. Like, you guys don't recognize the, recognize the passes that this dude misses? This man missed Keenan Allen on multiple deep passes. He missed Josh Palmer in the end zone for a touchdown. Lucky that four for one, they left ever wide open when they were down 17 to 10 to get the ball in the end zone because he threw the ball late and behind uh, Austin Eckler. But I was told elite quarterbacks don't miss wide open receivers. Elite quarterbacks don't make mistakes. Elite quarterbacks just get it done no matter what. So why every time when it comes into the clutch with this guy, he always winds up getting sacked? It's the same routine. Incomplete pass, sack, interception. When it comes to winning time. When it comes to winning time, incomplete pass, sack, interception. Tell me I'm lying. For all the stats that he gets, when it comes to clutch time, when it comes to getting the ball in the end zone or getting just getting the ball in field goal range half the time, sack, interception, I mean, incomplete pass, sack, interception, every time. He loses pocket awareness, he loses accuracy, he loses his mind when it comes to winning time. And that's elite to you guys? 
Elite is a 27 and 27 record, a 500 record with a stacked team. I don't care what nobody says. The dude has had stacked teams since he's been here. And he has a 27 and 27 record, and he hasn't beaten good teams in his career. Well below 500 against good teams that have winning records. You mean to tell me a elite quarterback that goes to the playoffs and plays the Jaguars and they get and and his defense gets some five innocent no five turnovers that game, builds a 27 point lead, and they lose the game in the end, and nobody in the media, nobody in my fan base, nobody, I don't see any, hardly anybody on Twitter blame this dude for that loss that they had. Oh, it was the defense fault. The defense that got you five turnovers? And got you a 27 to 0 lead? You mean to tell me you couldn't get a field goal? But he's elite. He's creme de la creme. No, he's just a guy that has a talented arm who doesn't know how to put touch on his passes. Everything's a, a 98 mile per hour fastball. That's great. You got a great arm, but she, you got to know when to take some off. Take some off. Pause. He's missing wide open receivers deep, and he does it every game. I don't care what nobody says. But this is an elite quarterback. This is why I'm doing the All-32, to bring this to the NFL uh, fans and let you guys know that the stuff that these guys say in the media is not all true. That dude is not elite. He hasn't even won a playoff game yet. He, my quarterback has won a playoff game in Daniel Jones and set history in it. This dude still ain't won a playoff game. You trying to put him up there with the Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, who won multiple playoff games. This dude barely made the playoffs last season and then choked. But he's the creme de la creme. Let me tell you something, Chargers fans. Y'all let me know in the comments about your quarterback, Justin Herbert. Is he elite? Or is he overhyped? Me, I'm saying that he's overhyped. I see what he does on Sundays. I've seen what he done in the playoffs. All the stats in the world don't matter if you can't get team accomplishments. All those individual accomplishments are cool, but come on, man. For you to be ride him as hard as y'all ride him, Pauls, as the just, I mean, just look at him. He is great. He does this great. He's great, man. That dude ain't great, man. That dude's that dude's a quarterback who has great attributes. He has a great arm. Well, hell, Jay Cutler had a great arm. Oh, he puts up stats. Who cares? I don't want a stat stuffer. I want a guy that I could count on in the clutch, and he is terrible in the clutch. 16 interceptions in the fourth quarter alone. That's when clutch play comes into play in the fourth quarter. And he's shown you time after time after time after time after time again that he's not going to come through for you, Chargers fans. And that's why I created the All-32. You guys answer that question, NFL football fans, Chargers fans, 49 whoever you're a fan of, this is for you guys. These are subjects for you guys. Is Justin Herbert really a lead or is he overhyped? Y'all let me know, man. This has been the All 32 with your boy Big Pass Sports Talk. NFL news, rumors, we're going to talk about everything this season. And we're starting off with Justin Herbert. Is he a lead or overhyped? And based off his last performance, I'm going to the latter, over hype. And I'll continue to say it until he proves me wrong, until he leads his team to the playoffs and gets a deep playoff run. Because the way you talk about him, the $256 million, that's what $256 million does when it comes to the clutch, when your defense is holding another great team out there on the field to, to 17 points. You're missing wide open receivers. You you got great accuracy, elite accuracy, elite arm strength, elite awareness, elite pocket presence, elite, 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 elite. 
but you're 27 and 27. 0-1-1 in the playoffs. You blew a 27-point lead. You never come through in the clutch for your team. I don't care what nobody says. 16 interceptions in the fourth quarter proves that. And until you prove me wrong, Chargers fans, I'm sorry that dude is overhyped. This is the All-32. And until the next episode, you know what it is, man. Peace.